Thousands are expected to take part in a walk for peace. It's being organised by one of Berkshire's Muslim groups this spring. The Ahmadiyya Muslim Elders Association are going to be hosting the walk, taking uh, in Windsor Great Park as part of the route. So we sent our reporter Atif Rashid to a dinner the group staged recently to find out more about the walk and the million it's expected to raise and exactly where that money's going to go. At this dinner, food is only of secondary importance because peace is high on the agenda, as chairman of the event, Zahir Ahmed, explained. There's a lot of problems at the moment in the world. There is so many internal conflicts. And I think it's very important that as Islam is a religion of peace, we should promote this through our charity. Peace is the, the biggest need of, at the moment, you know. We need peace in our society. We need peace in, in the world as a whole. And to contribute to that cause, this Muslim organization, who say they've been leading the peaceful revival of Islam for 125 years, has planned a five-mile charity walk for peace. Ahmadiyya Muslim Elders Association is a subsidiary organization of Ahmadiyya Muslim Association UK. Members age 40 plus. So we are all 40 plus. In this function, we invited local dignitaries, local charities, mayors to introduce them and officially launch the charity walk for peace. And is that why it's not a charity run? Because you're quite elderly now, so you can walk now. Absolutely right, absolutely right. It's not a competitive walk, it's not a run. If somebody wants to run, by all means they can run. Sometimes the youngster join us and say, can we run? Yes, you can run. But as it's not a competitive walk, there's no first, second, third at the end, you know. It's just a token walk, just to show the support and uh, solidarity to, to the charities. Thank you very much. 364 charities are being supported so far and they really depend on these kind of events, as Derek Good told me. My wife here set up a charity 10 years ago, wasn't it? To help, to help people, or couples, one of whom has dementia. We're a very, very small little charity, very local to here. So something like this means a huge amount to us because, you know, it's very difficult to raise money these days. And I just appreciate so much. I'm really looking forward to us trying to raise as much as we can. And it does mean to little charities like us, it means a huge amount. Nigel King is the Charity Walk Coordinator for Runnymede Council. There's a very fine line I've found working on community services within Runnymede Borough Council um, between charities going under or, um, or continuing their good work. And usually it's, it's very much, you know, it's sort of two or three thousand pounds is the difference between a charity uh, surviving or not. This type of event, I mean, to me, this is unique. I've never seen anything like this. But the largesse involved in this, the generosity involved in this, the match funding, is it's unlike anything I've seen before. The more walks there are like this, the better. I think amongst some councillors, I, I noticed there, there was a bit of concern whether it be political or what have you. This is nothing to do with politics. It's just purely about humanity and people and communities coming together and the strength that we can gain from one another. I think it's, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, the, the clue is in the title. It is a charity walk for peace. It does so many different things. Well, what do people here think of the idea of a walk for peace? Unbelievable how they managed to um, you know, raise the amount of money that they've done and for it all to go to charity is, is excellent. I'm here from St Peter's Hospital, uh, part of Ashford and St Peter's Hospitals. So we're going to be organising a team to walk in the walk for peace to raise money for the hospital. So it's fantastic. It's a, it's a great event and a great charity. I think the more people come together at events like this, the more we can do towards peace. The purpose of it is absolutely fantastic. I think the ideas that people are coming up with are fantastic. Um, it's, it's fantastic to see so many different organisations coming, to one, uh, coming together as one to do such a big event. And with just a couple of months to go, the race is on to raise the £1 million target. That was Atif Rashid reporting for us there. And the Walk for Peace itself will take place in Windsor Great Park on the 29th of April.